Hey guys, this is Brian again from PMB Homestead. I wanted to do the upper yard video and take you a tour and show you how the apple tree's doing and the sunflowers. You can see these uh, strawberries are really starting to spread nicely in here since we put the watering system in. Harvested off the gojis today. So we got another half quart bag off of these. The mint is looking nice, as you can see through here. Been taking a lot of this this weekend and putting it in our coffee for our French press. Here's the sunflowers. A lot of bees have been hanging out on these, which I love to help support. Helping out our uh, honeybees. You can see the uh, down in here, you can see how well the uh, variegated wagala has done this summer. A lot of new, nice growth down there. It's going to be a nice focal point in the spring. Apples are starting to really put on their pink color now. And look at that rosy blush. That looks nice. They're going to be a really great tasting apple for some pies and for some applesauce. We got the uh, Matt's Wild Tomatoes. There's just a ton of these things. Even though we're not going to grow these again next year, if you really want to have some fresh eating small tomatoes that you don't mind if they get squished, be a good variety for you. They're very productive. They're just, they're just not good enough for what we like to do with them and dehydrating because they squish too easily when you peel them off. And then they, uh, they don't give you what you need to be able to store them away. Let's see, apple trees are doing well. I mean, this one here is only a, it's going to be its third year. So we still haven't got any droop for the limbs, but maybe I'll get an apple or two off this pink lady next year. That's a really great apple. Uh, the squash is doing really well. It's fine completely out of the boxes. We harvested off a couple more this weekend of those. I think we need to do a video for you guys of Paula's dehydration of all the squash. She's dehydrated a lot of it and then she's uh, vacuum sealed it inside our food saver bags. As you saw in the one video, we harvested off all of our uh, pink borbs. You can see there's a ton more that are going to be ready this next weekend. And Paula's been making ketchup out of that. Then there's the uh, Scarlet Runner beans. They're just going gangbusters. I love this look. I mean, the way it hides that fence when you're sitting on the deck back there. This makes it look so peaceful and serene along here instead of that big wooden fence like you see down there. So that makes a really nice backdrop. In case you guys are looking for ideas next year. And then here's some more tomatoes that'll be ready this week. I harvested off all these today. And you can see they're starting to yellow. The stalks for the uh, sunflowers are dying off which I leave here in the yard because that's a natural habitat for the uh, a lot of the, the bees. They, they'll lay their, uh, their eggs inside there for the uh, parasitic wasp type bees, which you, you want to leave on your property so that way when they hatch next spring, you'll have a built-in reserve of pest fighting bugs to get rid of the caterpillars. This looks like the uh, Granny Smith is still Moving along, haven't lost any of the apples to the squirrels yet. Good, good, good. All right. I guess lastly, here's the uh, the cucumbers and beans. They're just kind of hanging on here. I know it's not a perfect area because you get a lot of that westerly hot afternoon sun here that just burns it. But uh, I'm surprised. You know, I've gotten some pretty good growth on some of these. You know, I'm starting to see some uh, some things show up here. Wrap this around here for that. Get some flower set. You know, starting to open up some bean pods be forming, which would be nice. I threw some clover in here just to try to help improve that soil a little bit for next year. So then we'll have the nodules from the beans going in there as well as the clover, which will help set the, uh, the nitrogen level a little higher there. Maybe improve the soil just a bit. Now when we put the next batch in, should have a nice uh, green wall of beans on this one. I think we're going to do exclusively beans here just because I think they'll be able to handle the heat a little better because you don't see the burned leaves on these that you do on the uh, 
cucumbers. They really, they really take a beating along here. And it seems like the green beans are a little more resistant to that. All right, well, that's kind of the upper yard update. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And you see me glistening sweat here off my face. And uh, it's been pretty warm out here this Sunday for a nice fall day. But you can tell the nip in the air and fall is coming. All right, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.